Good evening. Good evening, Irene. How are you? I am okay, teacher. Thank you for asking. And you? I'm doing okay. How was your day? It was good. Um, I didn't go anywhere today. Um, I was in the house all day. Ah, okay. Yep. So uh, I feel good. I feel really well. You know, uh, I feel rested. So it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you? That's good. Okay. I I was very busy, but I'm happy because I have life. Exactly. I, I <laughs> exactly. And that is um, everybody's priority. Well, it should be everybody's priority uh, to be thankful for just for the simple fact of being alive. Yeah, that's okay. Right, right. The afternoon, I I listened that in near of American Park there are uh, accidents. Really? Yeah. Okay. I didn't hear uh, any news um, to that. Uh, so were there any dead people? Sorry? Were there any dead people? Yes, um, there are de dying. Many really? Dying. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness. Mm -hmm. and, and do you know who was involved in the, in the accident? Um, a, a truck. A truck uh, with many people. My goodness. And I, I suppose uh, that or employees for the uh, um, American Park, maybe, or, or Stepford Salva, I don't know. Okay. And, and was the truck uh, going fast? Uh, maybe, or mechanical problem, I don't know. Yeah, I don't understand because uh, Carretera Santana is common to hear about car accidents, but the, the street is in good condition. Uh, you don't have many curves. So the only explanation that I got is that uh, people drive fast. Yeah, I imagine. But uh, in, the, in the picture, there are many, many people in the floor um, to, to die. Uh -huh. Two people die. Um, it's, it's terrific that the picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's bad news. I mean, any time of the year, that is bad news. But in December, it becomes a little bit more difficult for, for the families. Yeah, the, for, for the family because uh, the Christmas is near and the family waits for the day. Exactly. Exactly. So if, if these people were uh, making plans about doing something, I guess it's going to have to be canceled. Yeah, it's very terrible, but the, the people no listen to the, the uh, advice. Exactly, exactly. Uh, Salvadorians, we like to learn the hard way sometimes. Yeah, in the, um, the police office um, don't are in, in the place. Uh, I imagine it's, it's, it's worse. Right, because, you know, when there is a car accident and people don't know about first aid and things like that, your people's instinct is to help others, you know, but that's not good because you know, after a car accident, you're not supposed to be moving mm -hmm. because you might have internal uh, um, injuries. Yeah, I believe that uh, in this case, that drop for me don't carry people because it's for for translate other things, not people, right? Exactly. Yeah. Pickup trucks um, or trucks, they were invented uh, to move um, uh, merchandise, objects, mm -hmm. not people. 
Yeah, no people. Exactly. Oscar. How are you tonight? We're doing okay. How are you? Uh, I can't complain. <laughs> good, good, good. Nice. Yeah. It's it's a strange when you are absent. And yesterday you were absent. Okay. Yes, uh, sometimes I, uh, I particularly in this uh, in this module, uh, I've been uh, missing some some. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's not common because you are uh -huh. one of the students that have a, a better uh, attendance. A regular attendance. So, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, you're a regular, right, right. But you know, uh, somehow this uh, module, I, I missed uh, maybe three classes? Yeah, yeah three two, classes. Two. Okay. Uh, but, but anyways, I... I Anytime when I'm able, I mean, every when I'm able, I commit. Right, right. Yes, we, we know that. We notice that. Uh -huh. Okay, so, so welcome back. How was your day? Oh, this is my day off, and I I did some errands. Uh huh. And I was paying my debts, <laughs> paying my bills. Good, um, good. Yeah, bills uh, are always there. Mm -hmm. I know that yeah, you can, now we have the, the, the online payment, online banking. Right. But so, so how you always have, you always have to go and, and, and pay cash from the ATM or, or pay every something by hand. Right. In a, in a supermarket. Uh -huh. Right, right. Yeah, true. How far is the supermarket from your house? Um, maybe three blocks. Oh, that's near. Uh huh. Yeah. It's near. Yeah, the supermarket from my house, it's like uh, one kilometer or a kilometer and a half, maybe. Yeah, one is kilometer. It? It still is close. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes when I haven't uh, walked for a couple of days, mm -hmm. um, I go to the supermarket walking. You know, I usually go in the motorcycle, but um, mm -hmm. when I need some physical uh, movement, uh, uh, I go walking. I, okay. Yeah, yeah. And it good feels because... good, and the distance is good. I see. You should... Uh... Due to your your job, you should walk. Uh, <laughs> you know, like I'm in Lourdes and my um, my office is in San Salvador, so I don't think that's possible. So it's a, it's a little bit distant. I'm I'm sorry, I I lost connection. Okay. I said that I'm in Lourdes and my job is in San Salvador, so I don't think I can walk uh, that distance. Okay. No, yeah. no, me neither. <laughs> me neither. Yeah. But okay. there were times that uh, I took the bus from Lourdes and got off in Santa Tecla. And uh -huh. then from Santa Tecla, I walked to, to my work. One hour and a half walk. The whole Jerusalem. Yep. Yep. So I went street. Chiltupan, Jerusalem, Masferrer, and I arrived there. Yeah. Okay. So it was it was good exercise. You know, your your body feels thankful. Yep. Yeah. All right, Norma. Norma Rivera. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hi, teachers. Thank you. I haven't seen you here lately. Have you been in class? Uh, yesterday I couldn't teach her because I had activity for my job. Okay. For Christmas. Okay. Uh, uh, and that for the new normality was for teams. And, and One more time? The same uh, time I, I didn't get the last part, Norma. Uh, the, the meeting was for teams. 
Okay. And that, that the hours it was from 7 to 9 p.m. Oh. Was it online? Online. Okay. All right. Good. Good. It's good. Good to have you back. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So today is what's today's date? Friday. Friday. Eleven. Friday eleventh, two thousand twenty. Yes. Irene, do you remember the topics we were discussing yesterday? Yes, teacher, I remember it was uh, traveling. Traveling, yes. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yes, we were discussing about traveling, different questions about traveling. So, um, you know, the type of traveling um, we have in El Salvador, the last time a person traveled, like Oscar, he traveled a few days ago. He came back from the States. How many days were you there, uh, Oscar? Huh? You're muted. 15 days. Yeah, 15 days. 15 days, uh -huh. Okay. Good. So you, you were talking yesterday about travel. Traveling, yeah. Traveling uh, was a topic. Right. Okay. Yep. Nubia, how are you? Nubia Daceli. I am fine. Thank you, teacher. And you? I'm doing okay, too. Thank you. It's good to have you connected. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> good. All right. So, uh, let me see this here. Okay, good. Okay, uh, any questions or comments about yesterday? No? Okay, so um, let's talk about what you have planned for this weekend. Uh, if you have plans for Saturday, if you have plans for Sunday, if you have plans for today after we finish the class, I mean, like any plans that people may have. So uh, let me arrange you to working pairs. We have three, six people. Okay. Make uh, three pairs, create room. And here we go. Talk about your weekend. That in my weekend, I will to the church, uh, to my friend, visit to my friend. Um, I have a party too. And I will dedicate time with my son. Um, you are muted, teacher, I don't listen. How old are your son? How old is your son? My son is 11 and a half years old. <laughs> oh. Pre adolescent. <laughs> yeah, pre adolescent. You are a, a younger mom? <laughs> no, I am not younger. <laughs> the appearance is, is false. <laughs> Okay. I am in my in my forty. <laughs> really? Yeah, I am a forty. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, because the picture you have on your profile, uh, you look like <laughs> younger. Uh, the, the people said, uh, uh, personal. Uh, I 
to see very very young too but i am my foreign <laughs> okay all right <laughs> yeah so you age well sorry uh -huh. you age okay. well yeah <laughs> that's good nice <laughs> contact me okay thank you norma you're welcome and what are your plans for this weekend what what the topic is uh, what are the plans for weekend mm -hmm. uh, the plans of my weekend uh, at the beginning rest a lot because I have a really hard week uh, in my job. And after I work on platform. Wow. Uh, at, at night is, is I mean there are so many so many like ornaments you said as you yes. said so many uh, it's nice nice it's nice to places. see them yes it's nice to see them and don't forget to wear a mask yes <laughs> of course uh -huh. <laughs> and I would like today I would like to go to a uh, uh symphonic but it is too too it's late. late yes it's too late to uh, because it began at 7 pm mm. at the teatro nacional teatro nacional okay I, I think teatro nacional or uh or or the the museum museum i think the museum uh, david ah, okay, it was okay. there i i used to go to that presentations museum. yes mm -hmm. and when when my my son was a little yes really yes did she did she this did he used to play an instrument yes he he played guitar okay he was he in, a, in the symphonic no 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 not at all it's it's, it's only to, fun. to listen uh -huh. yes to listen to music but okay you you were you used to go to see those uh symphonic symphonic presentation with your son and with my son yes uh -huh. okay and you both both of you used to enjoy the, the music yes and actually, yes and actually your son played the guitar yes me, my son played the guitar the the classic guitar he began to play the classic guitar okay. but now he's playing electric guitar wow. and, um, and bass bass is Bajo. Ah, mm -hmm. bajo. Ah, cool. Mm -hmm. that, that's cool, Rocio. Yes. Wow. You know, I I came uh, recently. Will. Uh -huh. I will. Uh -huh. uh, because it is in the future? No. And in, in, uh, in the same day. Ah, okay. On Sunday, uh, next, uh, next to the Cerro. We, uh, I I went to the river. Ah, okay, that's some great. Yes, and uh, the 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 weather are was cool. Oh, that's good. Uh huh. And how do you say cascada? Mm. Waterfall. 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 There are waterfalls oh that's great 
Yes. Always in Chalatenango, no? Yes. Mm. In nombre de Jesús, Chalatenango. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. It's in the highest. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. Chalatena, the department, the Chalatenango department uh -huh. have a very mountain, beautiful uh -huh. mountain. Uh -huh. My my mom born in Chalatenango. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Very place of Chalatenango, in the Dalton, and in the suburbs too. Las oh. mesas, El Dorado, uh, uh -huh. Santa Rita, in other place. <laughs> uh -huh. It's beautiful, Chalatenango. Yes, the people mm -hmm. is is a skin white, uh -huh. clean eyes, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, higher, uh, blonde hair, blonde hair, right? And the the church had a different activity for this day. Yeah, it's a, de Guadalupe. Yes, yes. But uh, I, uh, a few minutes I arrived at my home, but the Seiba de Guadalupe was a little alone. So it's not crowded? No, not crowded. Okay. I, I think maybe for the quarantine or the COVID 19. Right, right. At the morning was crowded, but really? at night, no. In no. my in Santa Ana City, in my neighborhood, had one church, and that uh, celebrate the the Guadalupe Day on twelfth, and then next day is for Santa Lucia Day, in the thirteenth, Sunday thirty, and in many years ago, that time very crowded in all the parts. But for my surprise, this year had a few stores uh, for the, the sweet and the uh, different corns, uh, or uh, I don't know what to say, the, the platanito y chuchada, de esas que hacen snacks, 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 the snacks. typical, yeah, typical, typical snack. snacks, right, typical uh -huh. snacks. And today I look um what to say ruedas teacher. Rueda de mecánicas. Rides. Rides. I I see three. Okay. Imagine and I said, oh my god, in and, and for this time, I don't know what is the sanit san the the sanitation. San, yeah, sanitized. Uh, Sanitize uh, for that. Right. Is it, because it's a risk. Right. More for the child. Yeah, you know, children they have a, like a divine protection because if you compare the age groups, um, children are the ones that die less if we compare with adults. You know. Yeah. But the major for the children are asymptomatic. Right, right. Yeah, just because they don't die doesn't mean that uh, we're going to expose them to public open places. Yeah, in, in expose uh, adults. Right. Because in, in, in many occasions that the, the children or the teenagers uh, have a, a virus, they don't show a different symptom. But uh -huh. they transmit the virus to the other person for the mother, mother, uh, grandmother or grandfather. Yeah. Maybe that people is the risk. Right, right. Oh, well, you know, I, I'm, I'm thankful with God that children have that special protection against this um, illness, you know. Yes. Because it would be 
worse. I mean, like it would be terrible to see families losing children, you know? Yes, but one thing is because the children don't go to the, the school. Right. And they, the most, the more, more that that portion for the population, for the population are in house. Right, right. Okay, all right, let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. Welcome back. Any questions about the topics uh, you were discussing about the plans you have for the weekend? No? No. Okay, so going back to the TOEFL exam, um, how much vocabulary you know will determine whether you get a good score or not. So when I'm talking about vocabulary, I'm talking about when you're doing the listening section, when you're doing the reading section, and when you're doing the grammar section. So how much vocabulary you know will help you or will affect you if you're not well prepared. So let me ask you, um, what are the five things you need to know about a new word? What are the five aspects that you need to know about a new word? Read? Huh? Read, read a book. Okay, let me, oh, okay, let me see meaning. this. Meaning. Okay. <laughs> okay, the meaning, okay, the five uh -huh. things you need to know. Found in the dictionary. Huh? Found in the dictionary. Okay, do you see that, do you see what I wrote in the chat? Yes. Five things you need to know about a new word. And Oscar said, meaning, definitely. What do you think is number two? The context. Okay, uh, when you say the context, what do you mean? Because many words have a different means and you use it that means related to the, the topic or the... Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is called mm -hmm. how to use it. How to use, to use it. How to use it is another one. What would be number three? Pronunciation. Good. Pronunciation. What is number four? Spelling. What is it? Spelling. The spelling, good. Spelling, remember that spelling has um, is divided in two forms. What are the two forms of spelling? One, one of them is when you uh, talk letter by letter. When, when you speak? When you speak, yeah. When you speak. Very good. Oral, and what is the other one? Intonation. Right. Writing. Written. Written. Mm -hmm. Written spelling. So spelling can take form in two different ways. So like you said, if I'm talking on the phone and I say, Rocio, how do you spell your last name? She's not going to write it. She will say it orally. Now, if we're mm -hmm. having a face-to-face -face, uh, conversation or if we're in a live session, then she will be able to uh, to write it. So spelling comes in two forms, that is uh, oral and written. And what is the last one, class? I think we discussed this already. Yeah, part of the speech. Exactly. It's a verb, a verb, or what? Yeah, part of speech. Okay. Part of speech. So okay. these are the five things you should know about a new word or any word. So you need to know the meaning of the word. You need to know how to use it. You need to know pronunciation. You need to know the spelling. And you also need to know the part of speech. Now, we also mentioned that from these five, three of them are priority. What are the three? 
meaning. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. How to use it. How to use it. Uh -huh. And pronunciation. pronunciation. Yes. Meaning, pronunciation, and how to use it. Yes, those are the three. Now, spelling in the part of speech is important, but you don't really apply those two when you are in the middle of a conversation. However, when you're speaking, when you're having a conversation, you do use the meaning of the word. You need to know how to use it. And obviously, you need any questions or comments. No? Okay. No. Okay. Do you guys also remember um, the differences between denotation and connotation? No, no, no sir. Anybody what else? <laughs> what is that? Let me write it. Denotation. Connotation. Denotation, connotation, teacher. Uh -huh. Connotation related to the a relation for the for the, the thing you need to make or connection with another uh, sentence in, in your expression. Okay. All right. Someone else. Connotation. It doesn't matter, denotation or connotation. Okay. I have no idea, but let me, let me search. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anybody wants to define denotation? It's got the same meaning like in Spanish, yes. denotación, connotación. You know, teacher. Yep. See, the problem, I, when I first started to learn English, a long time ago, actually, I had a problem that the, the educational system, I mean, the, the system here uh, was really, in the 80s, was, was nasty. I mean, was weak. I didn't have a, a very, very many fundamentals. I didn't get many fundamentals, so I didn't know my own language. I mean, I didn't know how to read Spanish. Okay. And, I didn't know so many things about the national uh, language. Okay. So I started to learn, but in, but in English. But I I miss when when you speak. Ah, it's the same as Spanish. But I, I missed when I was a child. I missed many things about the okay the the, the national language. Yeah, the language. So okay, okay. Anybody? I, I, I searched the yeah. I searched one yes, one sir. meaning. Yes. And said the literal or primary meaning of a word. The primary in meaning of a word. To the yes. feeling, uh -huh, in contrast to the feeling or ideas that the word suggests. Okay. Right. So, um, okay. L let me give you uh, an example in Spanish. Um, what is hueco? What's hueco? Uh, it's a hole. It's, it's a hole. hole. It's empty, right? It's a hole. It's yeah. empty, right? That is the denotation of the word. Like Norma was saying, the primary meaning, the real meaning of the word. But if you go to Guatemala, hueco, the connotation is different. What is hueco in Guatemala? <laughs> it's a person the different... Yeah, with, with different Six preferences, uh -huh. right? Someone with different yes. uh, uh -huh. sexual preferences. So uh, yes, th that's a very clear example. So if you're in Guatemala, what is the denotation of hueco? Okay, something empty, something with nothing inside. But it also has the connotation part that it means someone with different preferences. So make the story short. Denotation is the real meaning connotation is how people use the word with, with, a, with an extra meaning to it. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah I got yeah. it. 
Thank you. Okay. So, denotation and connotation. Yeah, denotation, uh -huh. connotation. So once again, denotation is the real meaning of the word. Connotation mm -hmm. is how people use it. Now with the connotation part, do you remember how to say caliche? Mm. Mm -hmm. Slang. Caliche in English. Slang. Yeah. Slang. 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 Okay. So when you're talking about connotation, slang plays an important part. You know, and, and I give people examples. You know, you're riding the bus and you see that two people are having a conversation and they're using vocabulary that is not the official language. Uh, but you need to understand what they're saying. You know? So, uh, yeah, yeah. so the, it's, it, it's normal, you know, like you need to, it, it's not that you speak like them, but you need to have the ability to understand what they're saying. Right? Foreigners got, got confused about the, the, uh, how the slang in Right, in Salvador. right. There was a meme recently in, in, in on Facebook about a lion, you know, about a, a, a white person finishing his Spanish course. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And, and, about that. <laughs> and they hear something in Spanish. It's like, what was that? You know, so it happens. Okay, so keep that in mind, the five things you need to know about a word and also the denotation, connotation of the word. So let's go to today's, um, uh, what do you call it? The speaking part, share screen. And, um, okay. you know, feel free to express your ideas. Whenever there is a topic, I mean, it's we're all adults, so don't don't feel afraid to speak your mind. We're gonna be talking about one country in particular. Some people like it, some other people don't. Uh -huh. yeah, so okay, all right. Let me look for your group. Eight to nine. It's right here. So, I'm sending the picture to uh, to the WhatsApp chat. Let me make the rooms, recreate, recreate, and room one. All right, here we go. That mean you you can you can speak about it. I don't understand. I don't understand better when you to say at at all country. Yes, I'm speaking about it. I don't listen I, good. Uh, the question is, what imagine the things like when you hear the country you say? I, I think in, when I hear about the country you say, uh, I imagine, uh, for example, ex in, a, in, in extreme imagine, I think there are beautiful, beautiful images. <laughs> Okay, in my case, I I imagine for uh, what thing in my main or my my I am thinking in the Walt Disney, for example. 
Eh, the liberty statue. And another one is the, the snow in the mountain. And another one is a, a Grand Canyon in, in Las Vegas. The bad thing is our, is going, is the society is, is less and less. Mm, far away from God. <laughs> okay. I, yes. What about bad things, Rosy? Yes, bad things uh, are there. Uh, are the people is, is going far from God. <laughs> and that is my, my thinking about it. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, for me, when I hear about the youth, uh, spring to my mind good things like uh, many money and be very electronic electronic things maybe, uh, many technology mm -hmm. and yeah. bad things. I imagine uh, discrimin mm -hmm. discrimination, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. That is yeah. Mm -hmm. Nation to the the foreign. <laughs> Only that. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, what is the USA most famous for? Uh, For me, this Nailandia, right? Yeah. The most famous in uh, Yusa. Vamos a ver. Uh, are, uh, there are many people have uh, be the best opportunities. Mm -hmm. That's true, too. And mm -hmm. the bad thing, uh, <laughs> the weather. <laughs> yeah, the weather. Yes. The weather. Um, uh, if you don't yeah. speak, I, I mean, you will have so many trolls, so you're gonna be discriminated. But mm -hmm. if once you speak uh, fluently and you hang around, you don't have that much trouble. But. Uh, uh, due to your appearance, you we look like Latinos, like Salvadorans, or like even worse, like Mexicans. Mexican. So, uh -huh. so uh, even worse. <laughs> I, uh -huh, I I had felt I had felt two kind of discrimination. The yes. first one was when I didn't know that much English, I couldn't speak that much, mm. and the second one uh, was the the racial discrimination. So, yeah. so the bad thing. Uh -huh. The good things I, I was telling to, to Cecilia that is the product. So many variety of products or what can I say? Uh-huh. Nice. Uh, it's, uh, it's the capitalism. Stone, ¿cómo se dice la piedra angular? Stone. The piedra what? <laughs> How do you say piedra angular in, in the English. angular stone, angular stone, A angular stone, huh? yeah. of, cap of capitalism, capitalism. Yeah. Later. So, let's let's continue, Cecilia. What, what the, is the... the third the third question? Uh -huh. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. The third question is uh, what is the USA most famous for? Okay. Um, all all that made for receive more money at the, at the end for the month. And also uh, the people don't have the, the people don't have a, a drinker or a legal work. They need to, to work more hours 
in the salary payment is very less. And uh, the American person no, no give a, a good treatment for that person. Okay. What about the others? I haven't never stay in the United States, but and I can imagine what is the the bad thing about about the USA. But I only have an idea. I only see uh, in the good things, and for example, in the beautiful places or the other famous places. In the, in the USA. Okay, what is the USA most famous for? Mm. Disneyland, a kind of country. So they have that problem. They discriminate people. Well, in, in the both sides, mm -hmm. black people discriminate white people and, and black people is discriminated by white people. <laughs> yes, uh, yes. My, my point of view about American people, mm -hmm. view maybe that is a, always, American people all, always is to work or, or, or are working, right? Because uh, I I have uh, some brother and and mm -hmm. sister in, in USA. And they live all, there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And always uh, say me, I am working <laughs> on Sunday and, and Sunday. <laughs> oh, oh. oh. Mm -hmm. yes, all, they are all always yeah. working. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They they went early in the on the morning mm -hmm. and come back very late to the house. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. it's normal that people have two jobs. Yeah, yes, for for some people or for some family, uh, how to have to work for a best. Or better condition. I have very condition or salary maybe. Yep. Yep. Because the rent is very, 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 very expensive. Very expensive. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's why they have to work a lot. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yep. The good thing is that if you work a lot, uh, you can say that you can make some decent money. You know, so it's, it's, it's not that bad. Now here in El Salvador, you know, many people, they work a lot, they do a lot of physical work and they don't make enough. Yeah, oh. mm -hmm. you're right. Oh. This, is, this is a difference. Yeah, between... yeah.
they, they uh, many years ago, they have uh, many slavery and was a, 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 con, a conflict. It was because that was a revenge uh, one of, of others uh, because they want to liberty and and look the the same of the opportunities by the negro negros and and the, the skin white yeah. and they have they have uh, some president to fight for equals rights rights a uh, rights uh, the same person the, the person is the the person have the same opportunities yes Another uh, question said, what are the difference between the United States and your country? <laughs> well, the, the, the um, territory area is the first one. Mm -hmm. The United States is very, very have more uh, square feet than El Salvador. The another one is the language because they speak in English and we, us speak in Spanish. And another one is a development, industrial development and um, education for the people. That country, since years ago, invest in the education and they, in that country, the education was very, Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. What is the rates of the everybody? Uh, they're coming back. Supposedly, everybody was going to come back uh, spontaneously, but they're still coming back in 20 seconds. Yep. Now they're back. All right. Any questions or comments about the USA? What is the meaning of USA? United States of America. Exactly, United States of America. That's an example of a what? Do you remember how to say siglas? Yeah. Uh, Not really. Acronyms. 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 So, acronyms. Yeah, so acronyms, you're making reference um, to a word that people use but every letter represents something. So you said, where's your brother? Oh, he's in the USA. You know, USA is a word, but every letter represents something. So that's an example of an acronym, right? Okay. So when you receive an email, how do you say uh, asunto in English? Um, subject. Subject. So subject, in the uh -huh. subject, it says FYI. What does FYI stand for? For your information. For your information. Exactly. Right. So acronyms are very, very common nowadays with this, um, um, with this um, electronic world, you know, like uh, you use emails, you use uh, Facebook, you use WhatsApp. So there's a lot of uh, communication. Okay. Yeah, acronyms, right. Okay, so um, let's have a listening activity. It's really quick. Let me see if I can find it. 
Any questions or comments about the USA? How many states are there? 50. 50. 50 is correct. 50 is correct, yes. So uh, 48 are together. They're like in the American Republic. Two others are somewhere else. What are those two others? Alaska and Hawaii. Alaska and Hawaii, exactly. In Puerto Rico? Puerto Rico is a territory, but it's not a state. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Yeah, Puerto Rico is like the Virgin Islands, um, the American Samoa, uh, the Salomon Islands. I mean, they're territory, but they're not states. But if you're born in American territory, automatically you are an American citizen. And that's why Puerto Ricans, they go in and out of the country as if they were born there. Okay, so let me see this here, share screen. I'm going to play it one time and then I will give you the question. So let me see it. Okay, it's right here, new share, share computer audio, and here we go, pay attention. Exercise S39, identifying important points in a conversation. Now listen to a conversation between two students. The tickets for the best seats in the concert hall cost $60. Oh, that's much more than I meant to pay. Don't we get a student discount for these kinds of functions? Not for a concert like this. Look, the least expensive ones are $15. Where are the $15 seats located? In the top balcony. That's too far away. We wouldn't be able to see anything on the stage. The middle balcony costs $40. Well, the $40 seats are still expensive, but I guess if we really want to enjoy the concert, we'd better get them. What do you think? I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, what can you tell me about the audio? What did you understand? They are going to go to the to a concert. Okay. And what is the discussion about? Uh, the price. How the they buy in the ticket. Right. <laughs> How many different prices do they mention? Forty. Maybe, 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 maybe three. Sixty, forty, oh. fifteen. Fifty, forty, and mm -hmm. um, uh huh. Okay. Do you remember what they mentioned about sixty dollars? Where the sixty dollars seats located? Uh, what about the, the fifteen dollars? Huh? Okay, so I'm going to play it one more time. Take notes. Um, the first question is what's sixty dollars? The second question, what is fifteen dollars? And the third question is forty dollars. Just pay attention to it. Here we go. Exercise S39, identifying important points in a conversation. Now listen to a conversation between two students. The tickets for the best seats in the concert hall cost $60. Oh, that's much more than I meant to pay. Don't we get a student discount for these kinds of functions? Not for a concert like this. Look, the least expensive ones are $15. Where are the $15 seats located? In the top balcony. That's too far away. We wouldn't be able to see anything on the stage. The middle balcony costs $40. Well, the $40 seats are still expensive, but I guess if we really want to enjoy the concert, we'd better get them. What do you think? I'm not sure. All right, so what is $60? The, the best seat. The best, the best seats. seats. The, the best, best seats. Six. Very and good. Uh -huh. uh -huh. What is fifteen dollars? Balcony. The top. Where? F fifty or uh -huh. no, fifteen. 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 It, it's the farthest, but I don't know how to say. Yeah, to the balcony. Yeah, uh -huh. on the, the balcony. 
top balcony, like the farthest. I have 15. 15 dollars. 15 dollars. Okay, okay. Yeah, on the top balcony, like you're the farthest. Uh -huh. And Ajá, what's 40 dollars? Right, what is 40 dollars? In the middle. Okay. For the uh -huh. same. In the middle. Okay, very good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's 9 p.m. Thank you very much for making the space on a Friday to attend class. Uh, remember that we finish on Wednesday. Uh, if I were you, if I have work from the platform behind, uh, try to do it uh, tomorrow and Sunday. So that way you get this over with and you don't miss your space for the level. So thank you very much. I'll be seeing you Monday. You guys have a good weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.